going on YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally. I uh, just thought I'd make a short video. Uh, I don't know how short it's going to be. Uh, I just want to talk about um, some cars and my personal preference and why I would recommend uh, a Nissan, specifically a third gen Nissan Altima, to anybody who's looking for a for one a budget car or you could even get a really nice expensive one um <coughs> pardon me so a buddy of mine recently uh i've been posting a couple videos online i talked him into getting a altima 2.5 s um today i had a buddy at my work ask me how much it paid for my car he's got a hyundai and he said that you know he's gonna need a new car pretty soon that that one's uh, just about done and uh i didn't get a chance to really talk to him too in depth you know i, t I would re i told him i'd recommend an altima and this is my reasoning why um for one you have a couple options, you know what I mean? You have uh, the fact that you can get a four cylinder or you can get a V6. Uh, now keep in mind, third gen, we're talking 2002 to 2006 specifically uh, is what I'm recommending because uh, of the experience that I've had with this car so far. So uh, for one, you've got the option to get the 2.5 uh, four cylinder if you want to save some money on gas or you have the option for the v6 uh, if you want to go a little faster and get oh shit if gas isn't really that much of an issue um, and you have a lot of trim options you know what I mean you can get it with cloth seats you can get it with a sunroof you can get it with uh, leather seats you can get it with you know uh, base model deck you can get it with satellite navigation uh, so in that range and aspect uh, there's a lot of options you know what I mean if you're somebody who's looking for a cheap Altima that um, you just need something to get around in uh, they're stylish cars regardless but if you want to spend between like three and five thousand dollars uh, keep in mind, I'm talking Canadian market. I'm in uh, Toronto GTA area. So between that uh, price, you can get something with a four-cylinder, cloth seats, no sunroof. It's going to do the job. It's going to last a long time. You know what I mean? Um, if you want to spend a little more, between five and ten, you can get something with leather seats, uh, a sunroof. You can get the premium uh, SER model. You know what I mean? Um, maybe I'll turn the light on, it might be getting dark here. Um, you can get that model. Um, also there is, uh, yeah, alright, so that, <laughs> those are the models basically that you can get. You can go anywhere, even, I've seen the, these here, uh, Altima's priced all the way up to $15,000 depending on the kilometers. Keep in mind I'm talking used around 100,000 kilometers is what I would be looking for in a used car. That's, you know, you can get them for more. I've Another thing about these cars that I'm going to talk about right now is reliability. Um, I have seen these motors with good maintenance. Timing chain is pretty important when you get into the higher kilometers around 180,000 I would take care of that it's kind of an expensive job but with that being done I've I have friends that have these cars that are over 300,000 kilometers on the original motor original transmission you know what I mean this is an automatic um, you can get automatic standard in both 2.5 and the 3.5 which is also a huge selling point uh, a lot of uh, American cars they don't really offer um, standard gearboxes in their big uh, you know v6 uh, sedans and stuff like that so that's a huge selling point uh, reliability wise great car you know what I mean? Um, 
The maintenance on this car specifically, 3.5, you do need premium gas, you know what I mean? So if you are looking for something that doesn't require premium gas, like I say, there's an option for the 2.5, you're still gonna look the same on the outside, you know what I mean? Um, so maintenance wise, yeah, oil changes. Uh, I haven't had too many big issues with this, you know what I mean? Uh, when you go to buy it, look for the undercarriage. You don't want to get any rust. Um, and under the floor, there's, uh, you know, there's issues for, uh, they're prone to rust and stuff like that. But I'm going to make another video of all the things that I don't necessarily like about Nissans and my Altima specifically um, in my experience over the last couple years. So, um, we're not going to talk too much about the negatives right now. Um, so yeah, just make sure you look it over. Um, obviously, brakes and tires are a big deal. Make sure there's no rust on it. Um, what else can I say? Aftermarket parts. Now, for a lot of cars, the aftermarket parts, um, you know, options are not very big. Well, for this car, the Nissan Altima, there is surprisingly a huge market for aftermarket parts. Um, a lot of the parts for the engine on this car um, come from a Maxima, so there's an even bigger uh, like range for getting these aftermarket uh, parts, bolt-on intakes, spacers, um, exhaust mods everything that you can think of is interchangeable with a, a number of vehicles that nissan makes also oh fuck we're hitting traffic here boys and and girls maybe um also uh the tires this is a big big thing now um wheels and tire combos for this car are unlimited it's in my opinion unmatched by any other company the bolt pattern for this car is used in pretty much every single nissan vehicle that has the 5 by 14.3 i think it is bolt pattern we are talking nissan maximas nissan altimas uh infinity g35s 350z's i have 350z wheels on this car right now um, Nissan Quest, uh, X Trails, pretty much any car that they make with a f five star or five lug bolt pattern fits this car. So if you go online, Kijiji Craigslist, you can find wheels for this car up the size, the offset, the width. And I got my wheels online for $120 for all four rims and tires. Mind you, the tires I needed to replace almost immediately, but even still $120 for a set of four 350Z rims. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's crazy. Uh, if you had a Honda or something like that, the options, you know, they don't, they're not that big as far as I'm concerned. So we're looking at price, we're looking at options as far as trim levels, seats, um, engines, transmissions, there's a number of options for that and you can pick an Altima up. You could even get one really beat up for a thousand bucks, 500 bucks, you know what I mean? But between 3,000 and $10,000, you'll be able to get yourself a Nissan Altima with anything that you want in it. I will say one thing, the only thing that it won't have is an auxiliary port. I had to put one in, it cost me about a hundred bucks. Um, not a big deal because I got everything else that I wanted. I got the V6 engine, which is fast, it sounds great, with a little bit of modification. I got the sunroof, I got leather seats, I got CD player, I have, you know, everything seat warmers everything that i wanted i was able to find an altima with it in it so um if people are looking for a new car i could also recommend a nissan maxima 
but you're not going to get the same option in respect to cloth seats, um, engines, uh, you know, you're only going to get a V6 option. They are more luxury oriented than the Altima is, but if you want that option, there is a luxury Altima for you. So I'm going to recommend for anybody looking for a, uh, a new vehicle, yeah, look into Nissan Altimas. Uh, 2000 to 2006 is my preference um, at this point in time. The newer Altimas are obviously, you know, a whole different thing for me. I've never, I don't have experience with those. My experience with this car is that it's a great bang for your buck. That's pretty much the only way that I could put it. You're getting a great deal for your money. So, you know, weigh out your options look into other car companies and stuff like that but uh, definitely consider a Nissan Altima if you're in the market for a new car so yeah I guess let me know what your guys experience with the whole situation with your Altimas if you guys own an Altima or any other kind of Nissan uh, vehicle uh, let me know man it's uh, it's always good to hear other people's input on it it helps um, and you never know it uh, my next vehicle may be another Nissan Altima, so we'll see. Anyways, this is Denali, Don Squally signing out. I don't know, this video is probably getting kind of long, but whatever, we're stuck in traffic. I'll hit you guys on the next one, man.